past Saturday, you know, John Cena, he made huge headlines all over the world. Not just the wrestling world, but all over the world. Now, it's now in 2025, he was going to be retiring from the WWE, professional wrestling as a whole. And with that, he announced a full-on retirement tour that's going to start up in January 2025 and end that same year in December of 2025. Matches are going to be spanning over to about 20 to 30 matches. We're talking most likely Raw, SmackDown, live events definitely, and PLEs. So there's going to be a lot of superstars on the WWE roster just chopping at the bit just to get a match with the 16-time world champion, even if it's just squaring off with John for the first time ever. Because at the end of the day, when John's done, and I do think that once John hangs it up, he's done. Like I don't, I don't see John Cena like retiring and then going to another company a couple months later or John Cena retiring and then 50, 60 some years later he comes out of retirement and wrestles another match even though he's past his prime and doesn't need to be in the ring at all. Like I do I truly do think once he's done, he's done. And this John Cena retirement tour, man, it should be it's gonna be emotional, but it should be fun. And with that being said, as you can already tell by the title of the video, 10 John Cena matches that should happen on his retirement tour. There are 10 Pacific wrestlers on this roster that I would personally like to see John Cena wrestle. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. But before I do, I want to make this disclaimer Two, Number one, just my opinion, the wrestlers you see on this list, you might not agree with some of these names, but then again, I don't know how you would, but... Number two, um, some of these are going to be first-time ever matchups. Others are going to be not first-time ever matches. So matches we've seen, but definitely would love to see one last time. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get right into it, man. Number 10, and this is in no particular order. Just start with 10, making my way down to one. Number 10, John Cena versus the ring general Gunther. I mean, it, has, it hasn't already been said. If it hasn't already been said, if it hasn't already been fully established. I mean, he's literally competing for the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam. Gunkner is one of the very best in-ring, pure professional wrestlers, not just in the world, but in that whole damn company, man. I mean, the matches he's put on, the the just everything, his whole presentation, everything. And I feel like for Gunkner to screw to scrabble with John Cena in a first time and last time and only time ever matchup, I think that would be something that the fans would like to see. Now, granted, Gunther's going to chop the hell out of John Cena. Like, John's chest is going to be red as a tomato. But we all know, man, John Cena, he's a fighter. He's a fighter at heart. I mean, he he literally lives by the words, never give up for a reason. So he's definitely not going to give up against Gunther, but it'd definitely be a matchup I'd personally like to see before on this retirement tour. So number nine, John Cena versus AJ Styles. I mean, <laughs> just saying those two names alone, like from the first time these two had their raw segment all those years ago to the first encounter at money in the bank to the epic clash at SummerSlam 2016 to the instant classic at Royal Rumble 2017 even to a freaking SmackDown episode where John Cena's trying to fight his way to the WWE Championship, John Cena and AJ Styles have always worked magic. Two guys that have been in two completely different opposite worlds for so many years coming together and putting on, again, instant classics, man. Like, you can't write it any other better. And AJ, it's like, even nowadays, granted, he's not in his same form that he was all those years ago. But AJ, he's shown, man, like he can still go. I mean, he had two amazing bouts with Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship. So I can easily see AJ coming out and challenging Cena and, you know, Cena doing his old, oh, if you want some, come get some. And those two going at it one last time, I, I, I got to see it personally, man. Number eight, John Cena versus Rollins. Yeah, similar styles in this one, you know, it's been a minute, a very hot minute since Cena and Rollins faced each other. I want to say the last time they fought was that gauntlet match they had a couple years ago, which was 
really, really dope. But um, yeah, man, these two have always worked magic together as well. I mean, Rollins and Cena had an amazing SummerSlam 2015 encounter. I mean... John Cena got his nose broke by Seth Rollins, and they still went on to have a really dope match. So I just think their dynamics would work well, even in this day and age. Obviously, Seth Rollins is the visionary. He just had an amazing bout with Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins can obviously, can obviously still go, obviously. And um, Cena is going to want to go all out, and I think one of the opponents he's going to want to go all out with is Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins, so definitely those two got to run it back for sure. Uh, number seven, I got John Cena versus Sheamus, and you want to talk about a one-on-one -on -one encounter that hasn't been seen in a while, it's this one, because I cannot legit remember the last time Cena and Sheamus had a one-on-one -on -one match. I, I want to say it was probably 2012, maybe 2011, but it was that far away, but the history these two have together, I mean, it it goes back to when Sheamus made his WWE debut. Sheamus, nearly a month into his WWE run, won the WWE Championship. And who did he beat? John Cena. And Sheamus nowadays, you know, he's all about banger after banger after banger. And he's been putting on banger and after banger. You know, John Cena's going to want to come out. And he's going to want to taste some of that banger. No diddy. Uh, but nah, man. Um... This I'd put Cena and Sheamus going at it, man. And Sheamus, like, I, I, I got to see that. I got to see that personally. I think Cena and Sheamus, I think they'll work well in this day and age. I got at number six, I got John Cena versus Chad Gable. Again, I, I don't like to compare superstars of the past, but it is without saying that Chad Gable is the closest we're going to get to Kurt Angle in these, in these day and age. And... I, I can see Chad easily stepping up to John Cena like, oh, you need to you need to you need to stay retired or you need to go into retirement right now. You're nothing. You're washed up. And again, Cena saying you want some come get some and you, you give Cena and Chad Gable like a good just a good 10, 15 minutes. Just let them roll out. I think they can do that, man. So John Cena, Chad Gable. That's a match I, I would like to see on this retirement tour. Um. Number five, we got Cena versus Carmelo Hayes. You know, it's all about building up for the future, all about investing in the future. And Carmelo Hayes is one of those guys, man. And I think a match with John Cena, a first time ever match, um, it would really show, like, to the whole world, if it, has, if it hasn't already been shown, that Carmelo Hayes is someone that the WWE could very well invest in the future. I mean, Carmelo had... Really, really dope encounters in NXT. And I think a, a, a really good one with John Cena would really be able to showcase Carmelo Hayes' skills on a very, very big level. So I think that would be a really dope matchup for Carmelo Hayes to show his own little, I guess, ruthless aggression in some way, shape, or form. But speaking of ruthless aggression, at number four, I got John Cena versus Braun Breaker. You know, because if there's one wrestler who's all about that aggressiveness, it's Braun Breaker. I mean... Braun, he's going to want to destroy Cena. He's going to want to eat Cena up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And again, similar to Carmelo Hayes, it's always about building up for the future. It's all about investing in the future. And if it hasn't already been established, Braun Breaker is definitely a guy who's going to be a, a future top player in the WWE. You may not like it. Uh, you may hate it, but you better respect it. And I think, I think Braun would definitely show that in this match with Cena. Like, is Cena going to be able to overcome Braun's quickness and his toughness and just, again, aggressiveness? But then again, like I said earlier, man, John Cena, he's never give up. He is the tagline symbol of what never give up is about. So now we get to the top three, man. I think these are definitely the three matches here that I'm about to name are definitely the matches people would want to see on this retirement tour. Cena versus Randy Orton. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and pretend that John Cena and Randy and the majority of the matches they had back in the day weren't all that because respectfully, respectfully, they, they weren't. Um, they did have a dope match, so with bragging rights in the Ironman match, but and the breaking point I quit match was really dope. 
but you can't argue the history these two have. Like you can easily make the case of why Randy Orton is easily John Cena's biggest foe. I mean, the dude literally punk kicked his own dad, beat up his dad on multiple occasions, right? Um, took away his rights, you know. And um, we we got to see this match, man. I, I put it in a YouTube short recently that Randy and Cena should be the match for WrestleMania 41. With that being Cena's last WrestleMania match, I, I definitely think Randy would be the perfect final WrestleMania opponent for John. Um, and it's again like Randy's career, you know, slowly. Like this is the end of an era. These are two guys that were on the rise um, back up in the day, and to come at it one last time. Like, you just can't ride itself, man. Like, for real. So, John Cena, Randy Orton, who I shouted out. Number two, CM Punk versus John Cena, man. The peak of the PG era. Like, Money in the Bank 2011, SummerSlam, Night of Champions, the Raw number one contenders match, man. John Cena and CM Punk was the epitome of polar opposites. You got this loyal company corporate champion from Boston, Massachusetts, taking on the rebel straight edge and CM Punk from Chicago. I mean, again, you just can't write itself. John Cena and CM Punk, classic money in the bank. Raw, number one contendership, classic. Amazing matches from the likes of Night of Champions. And I mean, the list just goes on and on and on, man. And I know CM Punk has recently talked about it in the post show that he wants to fight like John, and I agree. We got to see that match. They got to do that match. Like, there, there's no other way around it, man. You do it on a Raw match, SmackDown, like PLE, do, do what you got to do. We, we got to see CM Punk versus John Cena. We need, I need, we need to see a segment, one last promo segment, and one last match, man, because the segments they had, the promo battles they had were dope, man. Absolutely dope. But coming in at number one, the final opponent on this list, Cody Rhodes versus John Cena. You know, this is like, first off, it's the ultimate babyface match. You got a white meat babyface and John, white meat babyface and Cody. But it's, for me personally, it's the ultimate passing of the torch. Now, granted, you can already say that Cody's already took the torch, but Cody Rhodes is the biggest babyface um, since John Cena, and for Cody to beat John Cena, it would f- officially cement him as the, like, this is my time, this is my company, I'm the top guy, I'm the top man, like, I'm here, you know, and obviously John would have no problem putting Cody Rhodes over, and, you know, I know Cody's talked about it, and John has obviously spoken very highly of Cody Rhodes, so, I think a match between those two would hit really hard. So, yeah, man. But those are the 10 wrestlers or the 10 John Cena matches that that should happen on his retirement tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the vid, man. I know I went a little long, but I kind of wanted, as I was going down the list, I wanted to kind of elaborate and explain um, why the wrestlers I put on this list, why I specifically think they should wrestle John Cena on this retirement tour. So, but there's definitely going to be some more wrestlers like Grayson Waller, Dominic Mysterio, um, Austin. Or actually, keep him away from Austin Theory. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But Karen Cross, like, everybody going to be wanting a piece of John Cena. And again, rightfully so. So we'll see what happens, man. But at the end of the day, it's John Cena, man. What more can you say? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And uh, I'm out.